I'm at the airport. <laughs> this is one to tell the grandkids. Oh yes, my pal Steve's going out as well. Steve and Chris. So, I'm at the airport with this unsociable side. We are off to Milan. It is currently 6.16 in the morning. Mum just dropped us off at the airport, bless her. Thanks Mum, shout out Mum. And we're going to watch England play tomorrow night. I've just got a pink gin, lemonade, and I'm waiting for some hash browns. And then we're going to head to Milan. So, we'll take you with us. Mr. I'm not hungry has dug into my food before I've even dug into my food, before I've even videoed. <laughs> Just ordered some hash browns because I need something to like, keep me going and it's currently 6.30 in the morning. But yeah, I'm gonna dig into my little hash browns. We just got a train into the centre. Just got here and... <laughs> We're both not talking to each other, we've just got our headphones in. <laughs> We're here anyway, I'll take you with us. We're just coming out of the station, and this station is literally like Grand Central in New York. Yeah, we're just about to go outside, and I've just seen a Sephora. Italy's already one of my favourite places. <laughs> we are outside. We're just trying to find our apartment. Who put Dan in charge of the map, eh? <laughs> Checking our views, anyway. We're just about to go to our apartment. So this is actually where we're standing. We're standing like a little apartment in here. Very Italian vibes and we just got dressed. I'm wearing jeans, but it's actually quite warm. I have no shorts with me, so jeans it is. Trainers and a little flower top. But we're gonna head out and get something to eat because we're starving. Been up since four and it's now 1.28 in Italian time. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna head out. This is what it looks like when you've been up since 4 a.m. <laughs> Tired, guys. I think it's because it's but Italian. A lot of things they say like that don't get imported are better tasted because they haven't traveled and it's not in like barrel. That's why people say Guinea is Ireland. Is the one way. There you go guys, that's a bit of facts for you. Oh, you really interrupted to listen about. No, 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 yeah, so we were on the plane earlier and there were seats near Dan, so I was asleep and I had my hood over my head. So all of a sudden I thought it's like someone lifted up my hood and I'm thinking, who is that? Like, I woke up thinking, is it, I thought it was going to be like the air hostess or something. Oh really? What, we say we're here? Yeah, because I thought I've been sick for ages, so I thought, no, not even to say we're here, just to ask me to like move or pull in a drink or something, I don't know. But I felt like we've been on there for ages. Well, I did think that, but I thought, well, who's it? Not forgetting you're in the plane, no. He was row eight and I was row 28. And he comes over and like lifts up my, lip, my hood. And he's like, there's seats up there. So I went and sat up there, right? And I'm just bearing in mind I'm at this time. So he moved my case for me. I'm like, and he's like, dun, 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 and just kept talking. And I was like, mate, I've just woken up. I was like, I just want to go to sleep. So um, it's quite funny. But anyway, I was coming to say that we are in the centre of Milan now. So this is where what it looks like. From our view, and we're at this restaurant here. I don't even know how you say that. But I have ordered, I've went for a carbonara, which is probably a bit basic, but I'm excited. And I've got a can of coke because I just need to eat this because it's now 2 14 in the afternoon. And I've got four, I've had like three hours of sleep on the plane. I'm moving on now. I'll show you my food now. It's like pizza. I've just got my spaghetti carbonara and it looks absolutely banging. Look at this pot of cheese, by the way. I'm here for it. Stan's pizza. What is that on it, by the way? Mozzarella. Doesn't look like this. Mozzarella. Yeah. Oh, it does now. You have to let us know what you think. Please, this I looks eat. amazing, though. Yeah. This is where you were talking about the other day, I think. Can I go in? Is it? Ow! Ow! Oh, weird today. Oh, I would oh, it pop it, right. Done. Oh, so we just come to have a look at the cathedral. And beautiful weather, by the way. Mm. It's really sunny, but it's huge and it's so like grand. But yeah, we just thought we'd come and have a look quickly. Yeah. Apparently, Dan thinks I want to go in there and just have a look. But um, yeah, it's 
beautiful, beautiful weather, lots of people though, it's very busy. I mean, we are in the centre of Milan and it is Milan Fashion Week as well. And we've just seen loads of like Fashion Week people. Yeah, it's massive. It's like an iconic spot, isn't it? Let's be serious. Dan knew exactly what I was talking about when I said I wanted to come here and just have a look. So I've seen it online. It's absolutely random though. It's really, really busy. Spider-Man. <laughs> Guys, we are on a scooter. Back home. <laughs> the back walk home. was like 45 minutes, I think, in no chance. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm walking home and he's driving home. <laughs> this is not all right. <laughs> this is not all right. I think we've got four minutes till we're home, but it was going to take 30 minutes to walk and he's taking us two minutes on a scooter. So we're McDonald's in McDonald's and look at this. Is that muffin? I want to try one. Do you want it? Yeah, but I'm like, can I not get takeaway and get a hot bevy? Frozen specialities, like, or hot drink, what do you fancy? I'll just I'll get a hot, hot drink. drink. <laughs> oh, milk. That's random, okay, we'll go get that one. Cappuccino? Yeah, let's get a cappuccino. They do chicken Big Mac. Let's get a chicken sandwich at half in the morning. Oh my God, my walk's still on. Don't judge me, guys. I've got my mouth full. I just shot a bit of Dunn's chicken sandwich. It was actually really nice. I've got this like muffin with Nutella in it. I wanted to try it to be honest. I've got coffee, which I kind of wanted to take away with me, but it's fine, we'll just drink it now. Then I've got a Coke as well, because I needed a Coke this morning. I'd just like to see what this tastes like, because this is like a McMuffin thing, isn't it? Mmm, got a muffin. Mm. This looks nice though. Gary Baldy, that's what it told us to go, didn't it? Gary Baldy. Get on the green line, number two. Get on the weights. Right Thank God Dan's here, because I would not be able to get around on this map, I'm not going to lie. Marvel. To be like, fair, this looks miles away. Like that, it's only nine minutes, so it's annoying that we've got to go there to come back to go all the way. Bad back language, there no bad that. language, please. So, do you know what I mean? It's fine, we've got all day. Yeah, it's it's not like we're in a rush or anything. We're waiting for a tube. Look, he's got his boots ready, he's got his England top on ready, ready to play football. I've got his shin pads in my pocket. <laughs> he's ready. This is mental. He's ready. <laughs> this is one to tell the grandkids. <laughs> So, we have just picked up our tickets for tonight's game. We got in the queue at the right time as well because yeah, we literally queued for like 15, 20 minutes, not even, yeah, not even yeah, that yeah, long. About, about 20 minutes. And then we were in the queue and they were like, guys, the queue's going around the hotel. We've just come out and it's the queue's like, sides. so we had a touch. Right and now, up. fresh boots. We are back going down the metro to go to tennis game. We are just on the metro. Metro seems much cleaner than the London Underground. And you see me in the mirror. We are just about to get off because Dan is about to go and play a football match. So he's got his boots at the ready. Let's go. Game day, baby. <laughs> We're almost at a pitch. Dan is playing out. Hot, apparently so we've literally just come to this place called nico for a quick bite literally quite literally because we're in a real rush and my pizza actually looks really nice yeah, we've got a coke and uh seven five to seven. Oh yeah we are a bit so we're just gonna quickly eat this it's massive though look how big it is but it doesn't look as nice as stand one yesterday he says but it's food and i don't really care so i'm hungry this is how we are getting to the game We've had an absolute squeeze of Rooney here, boy. We can see the San Siro now. We literally... made it on time. We're going to make kickoff. We're going to make kickoff. If we make kickoff, I'll be buzzing. Me too. <laughs> Metro's absolutely screwed and 
everyone's walking, there's so many people are walking. And we're on this trying to get uh, for the game. So this is how high up we are guys. Probably here, we made it. It's Ramo. And it's nil nil still. I mean it's a half. She's been boring so far apparently. But we missed quite a lot. This has ended up in McDonald's again. Yeah. Basically, my phone's about to die and I'm vlogging on my phone because I left my camera at home. Basically, it was all a bit weird. We were on the train on the way to the San Siro and we got an email from England saying, don't bring your portable chargers because they're going to take them off you. I was like, so it took it off me. But I hid it in like a little pole thing and I managed to get it back. So it's all good. Portable charger has been reunited with me because I did pay good money for that portable charger because it's massive. It's really good. It keeps, it keeps the charge. We have no like drinks in the hotel and there's no shops open. So we've just got water, the coat and damn and some nuggets. So we've got some nuggets. And my phone's about to die. And I can't wait to get the portable charger out. Hi guys, I've just realised that I didn't end this vlog. We got home really early on a Saturday morning that we landed and everything was a bit hectic because we had the Shine Walk half marathon in the evening of the day we landed. So we literally got back to the airport and then slept for pretty much all day. Well, Dan definitely slept for pretty much all day. I slept for like half the day. We were really, really tired from doing a lot of walking and a lot of like seeing things. But overall, I'm gonna be completely honest with you because I like to be honest with you and completely like transparent. I was a little bit disappointed with Milan. Um, I think I had a lot higher expectations. I felt like there was going to be loads to do and there wasn't actually as much to do as what I originally anticipated. It was great to see another country, another place, a new stadium. It was great. And we had a great, great time. Don't get me wrong. But sort of the Milan itself was kind of disappointing. The times that we got off the tube and we were like, okay, we'll eat here. And there was nothing anywhere that we could eat or, you know, everything was shut. So definitely do your research before going to Milan. But we did have a great time anyway. So, can't forward too much. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, I love my vlogs and my travel vlogs. So, I hope you enjoyed too. And I hope to see you again for another video. Have a great rest of your week.